closer. Ain't you? Wow. Whoa! Sounds crazy. I'm not crazy. It's 40, 40 degrees. 40, 40 north. 115. Damn. Still half an hour. Till Shepard's there. It's early. Dale for Shepard. Come in, Shepard. Damn it. Sai, if, you, if you're listening, if, if anyone is listening, at 0600, a vessel of unknown origin has crash landed in uh, 40 degrees north, 115 west. Shepard, I told you. <laughs> I told everyone, and now I have proof. It's been circling for days, and they they finally arrived. They've arrived. They're they're, they're here. Come on. In 1947, mankind learned that we are far from alone in the galaxy. In the decades to follow, we discovered dozens of intelligent extraterrestrial species with the capability of reaching Earth. Some of them are friendly, but some of them are not. So the U.S. developed the Alien Defense Unit. If you're hearing this, it's because you've been selected to join this elite force. Together we work in secret to study, communicate with, and, if necessary, defeat these alien entities. They can be powerful allies or terrifying new threats. Now it's up to you to know the difference and to defend our planet if and when the time comes. Welcome to the ADU.
700. Come in. This is early bird for the worm. Hello. Dale, come in. Dale, Shepard, you out there, bud? Come on, don't make me come looking for you. I told you to lay off of that moonshine of yours, or I'd have to come out and confiscate it. All right, Dale, this isn't funny. Shepard, over and out. Oh, Colonel Mayweather, good morning, sir. Back to change, Shepard. I'm sure you're aware that reported sightings in your sector were 10 times the monthly average last night. Right? Yes, I have a call into my guy at NORAD. Don't bother NORAD. The Air Force wasn't flying and our satellites didn't get a picture of anything below the desert. You think something came down and we missed it? Well, since Roswell, nothing falls from the sky that isn't tagged or tracked before John Q. Public could pick up a smartphone and snap a picture. But hundreds of people have been calling from your sector reporting that they see some fireball in the sky a fireball now is there anything from your security details last night anything to suggest this N no sir business as usual nothing come on nothing weird well i mean now that you mention it we do have a local guy out here that radios me all clear every morning like clockwork it's not exactly confirmation of an alien invasion or anything but I haven't heard from him today, and I don't much like the coincidence. You know, if he saw a fireball, he's the kind of guy that would go looking for it. Well, you know, usually I'd avoid getting my intel from the tin foil hat community, but sometimes you gotta hand it to him. Right now, that's the best lead we have, so let's go with it. Well, check it out pronto, sir. Now, if something did come down... It was invisible until it was in your airspace. I need you to confirm and contain... Any conceivable alien force, or give me an all-clear. Otherwise... You know what the protocol is. I do. And I'm sure it's just um, some piece of alien junk that we don't want to fall into the wrong hands. We see what happens when these extraterrestrials make it planet side. There is a big difference when they're just visiting. When they come in peace, they normally make a show of it. It's when they're sneaky that I start to get itchy. So use precaution, because when it goes the other way, it goes bad. So. Colonel. Mara. Specialist spare charge should be inbound now. One other thing, Shepard. I expedited the transfer of your new specialist. She should be there shortly. Utilizer. The ADU is, um, it's changing. They're pushing the old grunts like us out and, um, bringing in these new xenoanthropologists, alien experts. They think that these young kids can talk to these big headed monsters. I don't know. That's not exactly accurate. Shepard, say hello. To Melissa Mora. Master Sergeant. Ma'am? I'm looking forward to hearing what you find out there. I'm sure you're aware, but your team has significantly expanded our understanding of alien culture and technology. Happy to help. Here's to one last find before you retire. Uh, well, that depends on what we find. With all due respect, I'm not done yet. There's still plenty to do here. Retirement seems a ways off. Could be sooner than you think, but before you go... Shepard. Fairchild is the best and the brightest of this new generation. Army, Air Force, MIT. It wasn't challenging enough for her, so I'm sending her to you. I need you to take an active role in her training, because when all this shit's over with, she's going to be your replacement. Thank you.
So, what are you in for? How do you mean? Well, I was on the fire team that relocated the spacecraft from the dig in Turkey. That's how I found out that aliens are, you know, real. We got a guy on base that brought his date to the test site. Idiot. Point is, if you end up on this detail, you either screw up or you see something that you're not supposed to. I see. So which is it for you? I requested it. Life outside our solar system is a statistical likelihood. Once I realized that, I knew I'd do anything to make first contact. <laughs> well, I've seen enough alien weapon to know that if I'm the one making the first contact, it's gonna be with this bad boy. You know what I mean? Don't you think a first contact should be more delicate than that? Not if you want to survive it. Why do you think no one ever mentions a second contact? That's something I hope I can change. Well, good luck with that. Welcome to the Alien Defense Unit. Don't let the looks fool you. There's more underground than there's above. It's hot out here. This is just where we hang out and eat and sleep and train and live and probably die. You'll get used to it. Where do I find Shepard? This way. You must be Specialist Fairchild. Reporting for duty, Sergeant. Uh, sir, I've already been briefed on the anomaly in your sector. It's our sector now, isn't it, Specialist? Yes, sir. I've taken a closer look at the satellite imagery, and there seems to be something causing a blind spot in your... our sector, sir. There's no technology on Earth that I'm aware of that can do that. I sent in a request to the USGS for a seismic report, it's possible whatever fell. Who mans this comms room? You do. Sir, sorry for asking, but I noticed that most of the staff here is combat oriented. Don't you think the unit would benefit from more of science personnel? We have Bob. Uh, oh, yes, engineer Robert Drake. I mean, he's a civilian. <laughs> Only on paper. Bob's got PhDs in science that don't even exist yet. Sir, if you don't mind why we're on the topic of personnel, I think it's best that we don't inform the men that I'm replacing you until it actually happens. I would like to observe the unit first. Noted. Where's Bob? I'm PT with Mateo, sir. The King? Getting his pack, sir. Gentlemen, this here's Specialist Fairchild. Welcome her to the unit. Welcome, Specialist Fairchild! Thanks. Better make a good impression on her. She's gonna take over once they boot me out of here. You two kid up. You're with me. We're wheels in five. Get Mateo on the radio. Let's get Bob out here for a meet and greet, OK? Everybody stand by for orders. Dismissed. Where are we heading? I am headed up to my friend Dale's place. I'm going to have a look around. I think you should stay here. 
You want me to stay here? You know, if something's on the ground, I want to see it pronto. I want to ID it. Someone's got to go through the call logs from last night for mentions of a fireball. Now, you're the specialist. Plot out the sightings. Maybe we can come up with a flight path. You've got your orders. Shouldn't I go with you? <clears throat> specialist, you're my trainee. I don't know what Mayweather told you, but I haven't retired yet. And until your training is over, you're with me until I say so. You're here to learn, not lead. Understood? Yes, sir. Permission to speak freely, sir? Denied. There's a ship out there. I should be the one to find it. I guess that's the difference between us. I hope we don't find anything. You got this? Let's go. Walking the park. Oh, shit. Can we please be done now? Come on, Bob. How are we supposed to fight when the aliens attack if you can't even handle a little cardio? You'll really be screwed when you have 100 pounds of gear on you. Yeah. Attack? Well, why do you think... Why, why does everyone always think that it's an attack, huh? They've been here before. There, there's been crashes, mistakes, misunderstandings. And yeah, a fight or two. But there's never been an attack. We'd be dead. Then what will it look like when, if the aliens come back? Honestly, I don't know. That's why I need to be in the lab, not out here training for combat. Well, why am I the only one that you do this to, huh? Because everyone else has been through boot. You haven't. Maybe they're studying us, the aliens. Studying us? Yeah. All right. If they're so advanced, why would they give shit about us? Why do we study ants? To figure out how to kill them. Roman to Mateo. Go for Mateo. Shepard wants that egghead Bob back at the base ASAP. Everyone's on standby. We just got here. What's going on? Don't know. Shepard's off site with Sam and King. Full kit. He wants you ready to rock. Copy? Copy. On our way. Full kit. What, what does that mean? Ready, ready to rock? It means on your feet, Bob. And let's go take a look through that alien arsenal of yours. Come on. Double time. Just give me a sec. No, I'm leaving the weights here. got that's operational heavily modified of course all the tech that we recovered is ancient found in archaeological digs and in frozen ice and if it wasn't for that Roswell crash and everything we found afterwards I might not have been able to get any of this stuff to work you've seen the Roswell UFO it's not unidentified anymore everyone knows that and yes I've seen seven I even got to go inside one once It was cramped. Little guys, huh? Three fingers? That tech right there is the same stuff that the spaceships use to generate anti-gravity for navigation in a, a gravity gauntlet. We found that underneath the pyramids. Once upon a time, that thing would literally just reach out and shape the Earth, move massive objects, all by manipulating the force of gravity. I, I think, anyways. Well, if you ask me, that's all we need right there. Let's pack this baby up and spank these ants with a fistful of gravity. 
Hoorah. Well, it's missing a power source. It needs, well, more amps than the human race has conceived since the Industrial Revolution. So, uh, right now, it's kind of just an ornament. It's, it's just a reminder. Reminder of what? 3,000 years ago, while we were rubbing sticks together to make fire, they harnessed the power of gravity. And we can't even turn it on. <laughs> so it's a reminder that we're contending with forces far beyond what we even hope to be one day. But I swear I'm gonna get that baby to work. Establish wireless connection and take control. Average the report sightings and display vector. Adjust for Shepard's heading. Now display new seismic data and overlay. Something did fall. Shepard, this is Fairchild. I think you need to stop the truck. Shepard, did you read? Stop the truck. Fairchild, come in, Fairchild. What's John? What did she say? Something came down? Some blood here, Shep. Pack this up for Bob. Sounds like Dale might be getting a signal. Dale, you in there? Something. <coughs> There's something here, Shep. Uh, possible contamination. Hey, why don't you get on his radio? 
see if you can uh, get in touch with base. I'll be there. Could be he's got a better signal out. Phil, what'd you find out here? There's nothing here. kind of can't. I, I still have to figure out how to power that out in the field. I'd have to plug it directly into the grid to get enough power for more than one shot. This seems to be a reoccurring issue with you, Bob. Well... Do you have anything that works? Mateo, what's your 20? Specialist Fairchild needs you in the radio room now. Copy. Copy. In the warehouse. On our way. Who? Cool. I don't know. I swear I have stuff that works, okay? Careful. Listen to this. Shut the face! It's glowing! I've been recording every signal that's strong enough to come through. This is the only one. We're under attack! Them. Holy shit! That was five minutes ago. I already sent it to Mayweather. I caught a recording off the citizens' band. Shepard must have found a working frequency. He said. Attack. That, that doesn't make any sense. It looks like your theory was wrong, Bob, because it makes perfect sense to me. Mayweather's calling. I guess you're in charge now. Better go answer it. Fairchild, I've listened to the transmission. Hate to ask, but. Any word from Shepard yet? Or is he still MIA? Not since the last transmission, sir. It's clear we've got an alien crash, but we believe the potential alien craft is jamming the signal somehow. So it's possible he's out there, but unable to make contact. I sent his last transmission to the Joint Chiefs. They're calling it proof enough to initiate the helium measure. Fairchild, looks like you're training. And cut short. Your mission clock is ticking, so... What do you recommend? Anything? It's in my opinion, sir, that the recordings tell us what we already know. Something went down last night. Between the flight paths and Shepard's last location, I think we have a small enough search radius for the three of us and the team here to cover it within a reasonable mission window. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going anywhere. I don't need to be out there. I need to be here. I'll need Bob's technical expertise at the crash site to accurately assess the threat. There's no one on Earth more qualified to identify alien technology. Mateo, is it? Lance Corporal? Yes, sir. Your orders are to locate the crash site and recover your commanding officer or confirm his death. I need containment and elimination of the alien threat before sundown. Or I assume you know the protocol, right, Fairchild? I do, sir. Good, because there's no time left to waste. Find the rest of your team and get them back safe. I'm counting on all of you. Good luck. No other out. What did he mean? Pr protocol? Well, what's protocol? The helium measure. A thermonuclear warhead launched from an orbital satellite. <laughs> Are you serious? Only in the event that the alien threat spreads beyond our ability to contain it. Why didn't I know about this? It's because you're a civilian, Bob. You don't have the clearance. If I would have known that, I, I wouldn't have brought my entire collection here. The contents of that warehouse is, is irreplaceable, literally. All my work. Countless alien artifacts. I mean, I mean, nothing would survive that blast. That's the point, Bob. 
We're here. That, that nuclear blast, that'll eradicate this entire area. Not to mention kill hundreds of thousands of people. It's not going to come to that. Did you hear? That thing on the recording? Something is out there, and we don't know what it is. I mean, breathing the same air as it could be lethal. For all we know, it, it's a biological attack. So we follow protocol, and we wear our masks. And what if the aliens just kill us? I hear you have a whole alien arsenal. Is that true? Yes. Good. Then bring it. We have our orders. Secure the crash site, identify the threat, and eliminate it. What about Shepard? Shouldn't we be heading to Dells? If he's alive, his orders are the same as ours. Identify and contain. I want to know what we're up against before we run into it. Whatever is jamming the signal is coming from that crash. If Bob can disable it, then we can use the satellites to find Shepard's vehicle and hopefully figure out what we're dealing with. That means the crash site is our first priority. Round up, bring everything that you need. That includes you, Bob. Let's go. Wait, no. What did I say? I'm not going anywhere. Road ends here. We'll have to go the rest on foot. This should be it. All right, put on your mask and stay sharp. We don't know how many targets we might be dealing with. Those alien guns of Bob's work, right? Oh, yeah. Good. Should be just over that ridge. Make it safe and hold position. We're right behind you. Bob, let's go. Bob, gonna need you out here. I'll bring up the van. Van's close enough, Bob. Let's go. You know, you might have to follow orders, but I'm technically just a civilian, remember? Cut the shit, Bob. We both know your choices were here or a mile under Groom Lake. I read your file, your whole file, even your unredacted thesis. Hmm. I thought they erased all my academic work. With what you know, they'll never let you go back to civilian life. Your deal was a hole in the ground or a place where you can work and see the sky, even if things are falling out of it. I meant what I said to Mayweather. There's no one on Earth more qualified with alien tech than you. Come on, Bob. Where's your scientific curiosity? You're the expert. We need you out here. Well, no. By sundown is plenty of time for us to get outside the blast radius if we go now. Not without transpo. Bob, if we are going to find Shepard and complete our mission, I need you to shut off what's ever jamming the signal. Then I'll check the gear. Bob, I don't need your gear right now. I need your eyes, and I need your brain, and I need your feet. Come on. I'll go when it's clear. Mateo, we clear? No tangles. We're clear. We're clear. Let's go. Coming. This is why I don't come out here. There's a lot of shit on the ground. Don't touch anything. All right, the atmosphere is clear. All good? It's okay to take off your masks. All good. No sign of Shepard either. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Mateo, Ramon, head up and take a look. Copy. Come on, Rome. Let's go. Visual on the track.
get it? Yeah. Oh shit! Let her go! Team yet? I'm still waiting. Every eye in the sky we've got is on the Nevada desert. Yet, we can't see a thing. Hm. Have you considered sending in a diplomatic agent? Someone like you? No. No more. Um, I haven't. I could play a Shepard's last transmission, but it sure as shit doesn't sound like diplomacy. And now that we're on Helium Protocol, nothing or no one can go in or out until it's over. What I'd like to do is uh, send in a battalion, along with maybe 25 guys like me when I was 30. Teach these ETs a lesson. You know, something like, um, come in peace or go in pieces. <laughs> yeah, I like that. But... Another day. Dismissed. Now we're clear. I didn't know where to shoot, so I grabbed something that could shoot everywhere at once. Cloaked. Not tech, but bi biological, like a like a chameleon. It's not really my expertise. Bob, are you okay? Yeah, I just I had to overload the gear to generate enough charge for that static blast. Yeah. We we got it, right? We got one. But something tells me that wasn't what Shepard encountered. What we heard over that transmission was big and loud. This one didn't make a sound. 
Bendis, wide perimeter. This might not be our only threat. What do you want me to look for? I don't know. Footprints? Mateo? We good? Rum is dead. The others are probably dead, too. We don't know that. Shepard knows the protocol. If he's alive, for all we know, he's probably already heading back to base or getting clear. Or he needs our help. We need to call Mayweather. Why? He needs to launch a nuke and we need to get out of here. Uh, are you nuts? I am not losing another man out here. Thousands of people will die. We still have time to evacuate the region. No, no, not completely. Look, Shepard didn't even make it here. He was attacked by something else and there's more of these things out here. Let's just nuke them and be done with it. Hello? We're still here! Then let's not be. I'll call Mayweather. You can't. Watch me. Okay. You can. Something's jamming the signal. It's probably out there in the crash site. We still have a mission to do here. And we still have time. There could be something down there that can help us. Right now, I need you on perimeter so Bob can get to work. Every minute we spend arguing out here puts us in danger. Are they still trying to study us, Bob? Tell me, what are they going to learn from this, huh? I don't know, okay? I don't know. It's more important what we learn here. We'll find Shepard soon. Yeah, well, I hope so. Shepard will know what to do right now. Bob, we are not going to find Shepard or our targets unless we figure out which jam in the signal. What do you got for me? Well, uh, the, the fastest way to do that would be to shut off power to the ship, but with every alien craft that I've seen, and I've seen every single one that we know of, there's there's a, a, a power cell. It's small, efficient enough to run effectively forever. It could be anywhere out there in the wreckage and still be feeding the signal jammer. Okay then, let's find it. I can hear you, you son of a bitch. I'm coming for you. Bob, tell me you found something. Not really. Uh, from the debris that I found, I, I can conclude that it came from the same origin, but, but it's different. How? Well, for starters, I didn't see a cockpit or, or any co-pilots for that matter. Um, I, I saw inside there were like three cells, maybe for cargo or for, for holding. I can figure it out. I just need to kill the power. How much longer? Hold tight, Bob. 
We're running out of time. Threats ID'd and we need to move to containment. I don't know, maybe we head to Dale's camp and track it from there? No, no, no. We split up. You get to the van and you find Shepard, I'll go back on board and I'll find a way to kill the signal jammer. I just have to find the power cell. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Yeah, but we have to. Yeah, but we need to find this thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. What is that? Are you, are you getting signal out here, or, or...? No signal yet, but I'm scanning the data sphere around the ship to see if I can pick anything up. So far, it's just scrambled code. What do you know about the data sphere? Everything you do. I read your work, remember? Yeah, but I just, I just did the math. You, you made a... Wireless alien supercomputer? You did it before me? Can I see it? <laughs> Bob. I'll let you know if I find anything. Get back to work. Okay. That's so cool. That's it. Let's wrap it up. I'm moving out now? You and me, yes. Bob still has work to do. If he doesn't find that power supply and disable the jammer, we'll never find Shepard in time. If Bob's right, there could be at least two more of those things out here. Bendis, you stay with him. It's critical to allow him to finish. Back off. We're vulnerable out here. No shit. Hey, 
Don't you get it, Bob? We're the ants. Us. Okay. Glad to see you're all right, sir. Where are we at? Well, Mayweather started the mission clock when you went MIA this morning. We're halfway to Helion with two tangos down. The crash site secured. Well, it's left of it anyways. I thought we were dealing with one of these monsters, but three? There's another one out there. It got King and Sam's. And it's growing. Every time it eats, it gets bigger. And this thing's hungry. Considering how fast it got to Dale's camp, it could be anywhere by now. What do you suggest? Well, Bob was able to deactivate whatever was jamming the signals. I just touched it. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Bob. At least when the ship blew up, it took the signal jammer with it. If it's as big as you say it is, we can use the satellites to scan the surrounding areas and track it. Oh, no. It's a negative. It travels underground. There has to be a way to find it. Listen, this thing shrugged off standard fire. A whole belt full of ordnance. You got anything in your collection with a little more kick? Everything that I had that worked was... In the van. That giant smashed everything trying to get inside. But if I can get that back to the lab, I, I can get something for you, yeah. Mateo. Anything to add? Bendis and Roman are dead. Who's gonna be next, Shep? Let's make it count, then. Okay, let's load up. We're RTB in five. But first, show me the spaceship I've heard so much about. Can we be sure there's nothing left in there? Bob said he saw three compartments, so they look like holding cells. Could be breeding chambers, cryogenic pods. This can be a zoo for all we know. The big one didn't come out until Bob disabled the power to the ship. Like it was being held somehow. This could be some kind of containment vessel. You think something rounded them up and shot them into space? Possibly. You see that blue oily stuff over there? That was on Dale's trailer. And on the truck. Everywhere that oily son of a bitch goes. That stuff. That's how we track this thing. If this thing is leaving this stuff behind, all I need to do is get a sample back to the lab for analysis and upload it to Mayweather. I just need to tell them what we're looking for. Now that we have the satellites back, we can use every one of them to track it. Well, let's get back to the lab. Come on, specialist. Sir, we're getting really close to mission failure, which means we won't have time to clear the helium blast. We're not going to let that happen. Listen, Sam's injured it, and if he injured it, we can kill it. We just have to find it. All right, move out! prison theory. Maybe he'll kick it over to xenoanthropology, see if it tracks with any of the known ETs. Would that delay the healing measure? No, possibly. We'll try, but either way, we still need to track this thing down now. I just need to access the lab and enough processing power to recalibrate the ADU satellite network. If I can get the cell wire to the base grid, we'll have all the power we'll need. All I want to hear is that your weapons are going to work, Bob. After a day like today, retirement doesn't look so bad. They did not. Hmm. Well, I think it's clear that this isn't a matter of translation. This is a matter of war. Shepard, I'm glad to see you're all right. Sorry I can't say the same for the 
the men you lost today, but we don't have time to mourn. We're about to begin a very costly evacuation of the surrounding area. Have you contained the threat? We have not, sir. You need to do that. Now. Sir. We're doing everything we can. Specialist Fairchild's working on a way of tracking the last remaining alien target. Send analysis and calibrate the satellites for new search parameters. Bob has a working alien arsenal thanks to a power supply that he recovered from the crash site. We know we can hurt it. Display progress. Soon we'll be able to find it. The way I see it, there's still four of us. And one of them. I don't see it like that. I see you have to do it. Now. We'll kill it. Shepard? Shepard, do you copy? <laughs> Shepard? I assured you, my team has everything under control. Already here. Just me, okay?
What the hell's going on over there? Uh, we're having a little power issue, sir. Shepard, it's here. Shepard, have you located an alien threat? Sir, we have 20 on the target. Gonna have to call you back. Shepard! Where? It's in the lab. Good. We're gonna keep it there. We'll trap it. Do you have any explosive ordnance? I can think of something, yeah. Shepard, Fairchild's in the lab. Well, we'll have to get her out then. He's a the trick for sure. Ship it for Fairchild. And we're gonna blow the lab. Get out if you can. Goodbye. We either do this now or we don't do this at all. If we don't give Mayweather a call back and give him the all clear, he's gonna launch that nuke. Look, we're gonna try to get Fairchild out of there. Hey. But if we have to choose, it's the charges at all costs. All right, buddy, we're gonna take that thing out, but we may have to go with it. Do you understand? Yeah. Should have stayed in my hole under the ground. For what you wish for. Mayweather. He's already trying to call us. There's a massive talk in your airspace. I'm sending the Air Force to support. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jesus, look at the size of that thing. Sensor's active. Signal live. I'm picking up all kinds of readings from that ship. It's scanning. It's looking for the crashed ship. I hope they sent it here. Think about it. All the monsters we face today? That isn't what you expect from an intelligent species. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it a long time ago. That crashed ship was not an attack. It was a prison. A prison for aliens so dangerous they were rounded up and launched into space. It was never supposed to land here. What's it doing here now? Same thing we're doing. Containment. It's their version of the helium measure. But we killed all the aliens. Well, maybe we missed one. It's gathering energy. It's charging. Charging what? Isn't it obvious? It's a weapon. Right. These power radians are off the charts. If the Air Force doesn't take down the mothership before it charges up, it can destroy the whole planet. You're telling me they're the most advanced minds in the universe, and they're gonna come here and blow us up? For their mistake? This is your mess! And we're cleaning up! Sir, the mothership has engaged the Air Force. We're losing pilots. Mora, if I ask you to take an alien craft and go get Shepard and his team to safety, Maybe we can kick these ETs in their ass. While you're at it, how fast could you get there? Extremely fast, sir. Good. Do it. Get our people to safety, if you can. Multiple targets inbound. Let them talk. Sir, we have a new threat. I'm aware. I just sent evacuation coordinates to Fairchild. You need to get there now. You're done there. Negative, sir. I'm sorry, Shepard. You did everything you could. There's no fight in that thing. There's only one option left now. We're targeting the craft. Mayweather! Five minutes to Helian Impact. Mayweather! He launched the nuke. He's got evac waiting for us, but I... Uh, we've got five minutes. Time to move. <laughs> Everybody's answer to everything. Nuke it. Nuke it. Just nuke it. You know what? They mastered interstellar travel, and you know what we just fired at it? A firecracker! Listen, smart boy, it's over! It's time to go! At least it's gonna be a hell of a show. I promise you, it's not. Bob, wait, what do you mean it's not? Okay. to go now I'm telling you it won't matter what do you mean that nuke might as well be a paper plane when it hits the shields of that ship if we leave now we'll still be dead when that mothership fires along with everyone on earth how do you know this i'm an expert i am the expert i've studied every single ship that's found its way to our planet 51 was the first time they showed up at the roswell no aggression they just wanted their pilot back but they sure were scared of us and we already had the nuke in 77 shots we fired at us but we never landed a hit on them we didn't know it then but the same thing shields 82 was a crash landing because the gravity well failed shepherd you have to trust me on this 
I mean, it's one thing to nuke a single alien down here on the ground, right? But that missile, it won't even penetrate the shields of that mothership. Unless, unless we can fix it. How? You see the size of that thing, right? <laughs> yeah. The only way it can maintain its structural integrity in our atmosphere is anti-gravity. The same as the Roswell craft, the same as every other craft. And the same as the gauntlet. Shepard, I have a plan. Two birds, one stone. Every, every one of those ships, it, it manipulates, it, it bends gravity around it, right? And it, it generates a, a gravity well underneath it. It's the weak spot. Call Mayweather back. Now, call Mayweather back. Tell him to change the target. The base, not the ship. We'll, we'll redirect it right up the gravity well. How the hell are we going to redirect a nuke from down here? <laughs> We're going to catch it. How? I'll tell you how. I'll tell you. With that and with this, the only way to make sure we destroy the ship is if we use the gravity gauntlet from below it. <sighs> but we have to stay here. Oh, God, Bob. I hope you're right. Shepard to Mayweather. Shepard, did you get your team out of there? That's a negative, sir. We need to get out of there. He's right, Shepard. It's now or never. Shepard, you need to get out of there now. Shepard, it's already too late. You gotta go. We have it on good authority. This nuke is not going to eliminate the threat. What authority? Science. The only one we've got that knows anything about alien technology. We need you to redirect the helion. Target the base, not the ship. What, you want it to miss? No, no. We want it to hit. But my team has a plan. We're gonna... We're gonna redirect the shot. Please, sir, you have to trust us. The only way to make sure we kill that ship is to hit it from below. We were able to test the method earlier. We have an alien weapon that will work. We just, we've got to stay down here to redirect the nuke. Colonel. Sir. Shepard. If I do this, there's no going back. You understand that, right? So I'm going to ask you again. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I am sure. Changing the missile trajectory now. See you in five. Freaks a taste of their own medicine. We're gonna give them a spanking with gravity, and we're gonna show them you do not mess with planet Earth. <laughs> Heading into the warehouse. Well, at least it's contained. For now. Shepard. We need the power supply that thing just swallowed in order to make the gauntlet work. Let's go get it. Hey, does that thing work? We need power. I can run a line from the grid. Go get it.
You okay? Oh, Kelly, you okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. The nuke's coming. The nuke's coming. Look! One's for you. You forgot to chew. <laughs> I've been digested. <laughs> and almost disintegrated. Oh. Bob, your plan worked. Imagine that. <laughs> Mayweather's gonna be pissed. Oh, why would he be pissed? He just saved the planet. You think we're gonna get any more funding? We have to, for next time. If this is what they do for a missing ship, imagine what happens next. Oh, God, I don't want to. I don't want to imagine. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it's our job to imagine what happens next and to be better prepared for it because I'm never leaving my workshop again. Not bad for day one. Party here, Shepard. Nice shot, too. How are you doing over there? Good swell. <laughs> How'd you get here so fast? Well, after you hit the bullseye, I uh, hopped the flight here with uh, Agent Mara. She was uh, nice enough to let me hop on the fastest ship we got in the galaxy. I know that ship. It's the Roswell craft. Wait! That's my ship! That's the government ship. Asshole. <laughs> but if you ask real nice, I think Agent Mari here just might, you know, give you a spin. <laughs> hey, Fairchild, I'm very impressed. 
Nice job, and I can't wait to have you take over here. Yeah. Hey, Shepard. Yes, sir. I said a welcoming party. Not a retirement party. Look around you. You got it, sir. This is gonna be nice. I got a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while.